hello and welcome to my youtube channel i am umarli in this video i will talk about tani city before starting to this video lecture please subscribe to my channel because a lot of new content is added regularly and click the bell icon to get notified every time when i upload a new video okay <coughs> what is tani city osmolarity and osmosis Tonicity is the ability of extracellular fluid to move water into or outside the cell by osmosis. The movement of water into the cell or outside the cell is due to the concentration of solutes. Okay, what is osmosis? It is the movement of water molecule from area of low solute concentration to the area of high solute concentration across semi-permeable membrane between cells and extracellular fluid and osmolarity is the total concentration of all solutes in cell or solution ok in tonicity there are three types of condition we will study in today's lecture first is hypotonic and second is isotonic and third is hypotonic what happens in hypotonic in hypotonic water molecules moves into the cell uh, the movement of water into the cell happens due to the reason because our cell has more solute concentration due to the increased or elevated solute concentration water tend to move toward uh, from solution or extra cell flow to cell and the cell become enlarged uh, and chances of burst of cell increases uh, and uh, more <coughs> affected are animal cells because they do not have cell wall this is the diagram diagrammatic explanation this is the normal cell after the movement of increased water it becomes enlarged and this is the in intake of water inc increased and this is the release of water which is very less okay uh, this is the second condition is isotonic in isotonic water moves equally and the number of water molecule entering the cell is equal to the number of wa water molecule leaving the cell so animal cells stay the same so you can say a seed from the diagram that the cell size becomes same this is the ideal condition the reason for this ideal condition is that the cell which is placed in solution or the excess cellular fluid around the cell has the same solute concentration as in cell so the water molecule entering and leaving will be same the third condition of tonicity we are discussing is the hypertonic condition in hypertonic condition our cell has very less solute concentration as compared to the extracellular fluid or solution so when we place our cell in a solution of high salt concentration the all the uh, water molecule tend to move outside the cell as we, it is evident from the diagram the water leaving is increased and water entering is less the size of cell become shrink and cell uh, chances of cell dehydration increasing and the chance of cell death increases so in hypertonic the water molecule moves outside the cell due to the uh, less concentration of salt in our cell and uh, increased concentration of salt in uh, extracellular fluid or in uh, uh, the solution the water molecule moves out of the cell cell becomes shrink these are the three diagrammatic explanation this is the hypotonic condition you can see that the cell after increased intake of water becomes enlarged this is the isotonic the cell size becomes same and this is the hypertonic the cell size will decrease that's all from today lecture i hope you have learned a lot and enjoyed learning it okay please subscribe and click the bell icon thank you